Hello everybody and welcome back to the end of our coverage of the World Series of Poker Europe. At the King's Resort in Rosvedov, I am with your main event champion, Jack Sinclair. I mean, a huge, huge congratulations. I Obviously we've had a moment sort of like this before, but eighth place in the main event is, is sick in the WSOP, but to now the WSOPE finish in first place. Just tell me what this feels like. It feels a lot better, I can say, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's really nice to actually to get the win and the bracelet and everything. And uh, yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy week for me. Um, just, and I think I played a lot better this tournament than I did the WSOP in Vegas. So I'm really happy with how I played as well. Well, and that's the thing, you know, you've been in Europe, you've been living in Europe now for a year. You've been playing live poker, I think a lot more. You've been around a lot more. Do you feel like your game is, is really just notching up with each passing sort of month as, as you play all the time? Yeah, I mean, I think that how I was playing a year ago would like shock me now, you know? And, and living with the Philboard doesn't, you know, that helps a little too, let's get real. Yeah, I mean, I, I made uh, a lot of improvements even last year and then this year it's just been you know the same difference again almost in, in my game I mean I imagine in a year I'll look back at how I played this and think that that was terrible as well uh, but for right now it's definitely peak performance for me well, when I talked to Ryan Reese after he busted in fourth he said that between you and Omaha for roles he thought you guys were playing really aggressive really good solid poker and you know he said if these two end up heads up it's gonna be really interesting it's gonna be fun it's not going to be a slow game. It's going to be. It's going to be wild. Would you agree with that? Did you Did you feel like that's how it ended up? Yeah, that was the one person I didn't want to play heads up. Like of the entire final table, I, I would have picked anyone else. Um, yeah, he's very good, very aggressive, and uh, doesn't give up a lot. You know, which is, makes it very tough to deal with. Uh, I was just lucky in the heads up that you know he bluffed a lot into hands that I was. You know, I just had to call with, and I was good every time except one. So yeah, it was. Uh, very fortunate you know to, to be able to have the hands to call him down with because otherwise you're you're kind of screwed against Laszlo. You had a couple of spots where I think you really gained momentum there was this sort of set over set moment which even when I was watching it in the stream I was like oh this is so gross and did you feel the whole time kind of like okay this is mine like this is happening little by little it seemed like the final table went really well for you. The final table couldn't have gone better for me well obviously but but it, there was no point where I felt like I had really lost any big pots at all, which is kind of like how the whole tournament went for me, really. And uh, yeah, it was like a dream, honestly. Like uh, I can't, I can't believe it, really. Well, can we expect to see you at the Party Poker Caribbean? Yeah, I've already, I'm already booked, so that's that's happening. Ship it to this guy. Just keep it going. Keep this train running. Well, congratulations. I'm really, really happy for you, genuinely. Jackson Clare, I'm Sarah Herring. You guys are with us here on PokerNews.com, and stay tuned because we will be there at the Party Poker Caribbean too. We never stop. Never stop. Never stop.